Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the... When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Blocks that punch. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by the cannon. What does the jab offer him here? Victory. It's as simple as that. It sure is. Gets rid of that body shot. On your head. Teddy, do you think this is the kind of matchup where we're going to see a lot of movement? Yeah, I think so, especially if the faster fighter gets his way. He knows he's fighting a guy that hasn't gone rounds too often. He's going to want him to walk. He's going to want to make sure he burns up. The script for Vladimir Klitschko is always the same. Trying to target the right hand, he hit the target that time. Briggs' his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Well targeted two punch combo by Briggs. Good flush shot upstairs. Blocks the head shot. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. left by Vladimir Klitschko. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vladimir Klitschko. A good hook by Vladimir Klitschko. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. That's a solid right hand by Briggs. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. A good right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. Scored well up top. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Halfway through round number two. Klitschko's ability to put together those two, three, four punch combinations. That's what makes Vladimir so dangerous when he goes into that mode. Yeah, one other thing with it, Joe, the power. He has power with those punches, unlike his brother. His brother doesn't really put them together with really bad intentions. But Vladimir, yes, he does. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Commits to the straight right. The cannon's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starting to take away some of that head movement. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Fine work. 
Clark with the left hand. He landed well. By Vladimir Klitschko. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. Vladimir Klitschko's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ninety seconds to go in the fight. Vladimir Klitschko's left now getting into the mix. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Briggs. Briggs clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires. And he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. A little head hunting with the left. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by Briggs. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was always going to be how.